recording this YouTube video. For those of you guys who don't follow me on Snapchat, go ahead and follow me at Simon T. Lendor. Do you see that focus though? <laughs> c come on, girl. Stop playing. It's only like 8,000 subscribers and like almost 1 million views. Like, come on. You don't want to suck my dick that bad. Wait till 1 million. So pretty much this is going to be a new series, but it's not going to be one of those strict series like bodybuilding calisthenics and powerlifting calisthenics and whatever type of calisthenics that I do. You know, Monday, Wednesday, Friday. It's just going to be a series where I just, I kind of highlight, not flaws, but, but issues that I'm currently dealing with. And I feel that when I share these issues on camera with you guys, a lot of you guys may see it within yourself and it may help you guys get over these issues because I am just like a lot of you guys, man. Like, you I'm broke, I'm young, we're all trying to make it out here, bruh. Like, it, you know, so I feel like me sharing a bit of myself will also help you guys grow. By the way, those of you guys who are bugging me about workout videos, I'm telling you, they're not gone. I'm still trying to get back on track. I was going to bring back bodybuilding calisthenics this week, but I just wasn't comfortable enough, and I don't want to get into something that I don't feel confident about. So, I texted one of my friends uh, to help me with the recording, and hopefully it goes through well, and we will be starting back on Monday. If, even if he can't really come through, I'll still be starting back on Monday with my new type of training split. So stay tuned, guys. It's coming. It's coming. Just give me, like... Give me time, man. Like, I'm trying to juggle everything. One goal of mine is to try to keep my videos short and concise. I really want to try to get to the point because I like to ramble on. And guys, man, if I was able to, I would talk to you guys for out. Imagine if I started doing, like, live streams or podcasts in the future. Because, damn. Like, sometimes I literally just want to sit down on the camera and just talk to you guys. Like, one day one day so one issue that i actually have and been having for pretty much i think my entire life was that i always tried to please people no matter what even if i was doing something that i didn't want to do and i feel like i'm breaking out of it a lot more i'm actually able to be free and do what i want and feel comfortable doing what i want because before i used to feel like if i did what i want or, or i was trying to be who i want to be i was offending people or i wasn't satisfying others and because of that I just felt like I always tried to be that guy that everyone liked or I always tried to I always tried to act in a way that I thought people would like me if that makes any sense and that caused a lot of freaking issues in my relationships it even causes some issues when I'm thinking about YouTube and making videos because when, when it comes to me and the SOS family I even think of that as a relationship and a lot of you guys are regular commenters regular watchers so again I take a lot of you guys input seriously but at the same time I always try to battle with either sticking to my vision of what I want for the channel or just doing crap for views for example my last reaction video didn't get as many views as my normal videos and even knowing that I still want to make more reaction videos even though it doesn't really get as many views and on the other side bodybuilding with calisthenics, powerlifting with calisthenics, any type of series that I put on this channel gets views like crazy. Episode 6 of Bodybuilding with Calisthenics has freaking like almost 10,000 views, it has like 7,000 views. So when I see stuff like that, it's so tempting to just go and say yo. Just, just put the bodybuilding to calisthenics, man. They're always gonna watch it anyway, so just get the views and get the money and just do it that way. Forget doing your vision, forget reaction videos, man. Like, just, just make the videos that is a, it's gonna get the most views. So then I'm like, yo, if I do that, I'm not being real with myself. Not to say that I don't like fitness, but I like so many other things. I, this video isn't just about that. It's like about everything else. So just, just keep listening. So I like doing other things. And because I have this following growing, I like to share a lot more of my life with you guys. But because I, I can see what you guys like, it's so tempting to just, to just shun that and just stick to that one thing. But then I'm not being real with you guys. And that stems back to me just trying to please everybody. Because at the end of the day, there are people who like my reaction videos. There are people who like, uh, you know, my response videos. My Big Night Daddy video got almost 7,000 views already, right? Some of y'all like it. And for me, doing some of those videos, actually, they, they feel like risks to me. Because I feel like I'm stepping out of my comfort zone. For example, look at the weed video. That video, I think, is going to hit 2,000 views pretty soon. And some of you guys agreed. Some of you guys didn't agree. But at the same time, 
I just want to be real. It wasn't even about you guys agreeing or not. It was just me sharing my thoughts. Whether you guys thought my thoughts were stupid or you guys thought my thoughts were uh, agreeable or right, I just want to share it because either way, I just want to be real with you guys and be able to share stuff with you guys without feeling like, oh, you guys are going to unsubscribe because, oh, I, I, you don't like weed? Oh, you never smoked weed? I don't want to talk to you anymore. I'm done supporting you. Before, earlier on in my channel, I used to be a lot more like, when people unsubscribed, for example, there will be days where like 10 people will unsubscribe and like my heart would just hurt. I'm just like, oh my gosh, like what the hell, like what did I do? But then I start trying to think, I try to change the way I think. I'm like, well, you know what? If those people left, they weren't real supporters anyway. Because trust me, the realest supporters, the realest supporters, they will, a lot of times, even if they disagree with you, they will tell you they disagree, but they wouldn't just get butthurt and just want to leave or call you stupid or anything. They're, they're just like, yo, I disagree with what you're saying, but I still love your videos. And and I even fall into that, that trap or that, that problem where some people will disagree with me, and because they, they, because they disagree with me, they have the mindset that if I reply to them without putting LOLs and smiley faces, they're reading my response in a angry tone. Well, I'm not actually angry, I'm just talking like this, it, well, on text, right? So then they read it and they're like, yo, I don't know why you have to get so mad, why are you so butthurt, man? I'm just disagreeing with you, it's just constructive criticism. I'm like, bro, I'm not even mad. I just didn't put any LOLs, like I thought it was a discussion. Some of you guys can have that discussion with me and actually say, yo, thank you for not, like, for not getting upset. Y'all come back, laugh with me, and we're good. Some other people get offended when I, when I disagree with them. I'm just like, bro, it's just, it's for discussion purposes. Like, I'm not, like, I'm not so passionate about weed at the end of the day. Like, if you, if you like weed, go smoke weed. Do what you want. I don't really care. I just want to speak on it because y'all were telling me to smoke weed. That's just for that one instant. Y'all like a girl, right? And before you even talk to her for the first time, you guys like think about every single thing that you want to say. You're like, okay, what am I going to say? Okay, I'll say this. And if I say this, then she's probably going to respond this way. So then I'll respond this way. And hopefully she's going to like me and want to suck my dick. And basically, I start thinking, I'm like, yo, why the hell do I care so much to try to really entertain her, if that makes any sense? Like, yes, if you're going to, if you're going to approach somebody and you're going to be the conversation starter, Yes, have something to talk about, but a lot of times I will feel bad if conversations don't go well, like if it's awkward or if she doesn't say much. But in my head now, I'm just like, yo, this person is boring. Because there's some people where I could talk about the same, like I could take I could take one topic and talk to like two different people about it. One person is boring about it or just isn't responsive, and the other person could turn that that topic into like a freaking informative conversation that's just so like oh my gosh i could talk to this person for like an hour plus like i just love this and do you guys see my point there it's not about you changing what you want to talk about keep that same topic but don't beat yourself up over that one person who wasn't responsive and feel like oh you're just you're socially awkward or you're just you're 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 not entertaining or you're not interesting that person is interesting you look at yourself and say yo i don't even want this person in my life i want this person in my life he's he or she is interesting i actually could bond with this person and you're able to be yourself without actually trying to please that person you guys just mesh and a lot of this does stem from confidence issues that i've had before i'm a lot more confident now before i wouldn't even be able to talk on camera like this like this would be freaking impossible talking to a female would be like impossible for me and now it's just like i don't really care like after having a kid too it's just like you're like damn like i don't even uh, like why like why was i that way before you know sometimes it creeps upon me but i'm a lot more confident now and and i'm starting to just be more I don't have, I have this, I don't give a fuzz attitude about what people think of me pretty much. That's why I could wear this hat outside and people like it. That's a perfect example. I get this hat. Some people don't like it. Some people do. But at the end of the day, I'm like, I don't care who likes it or not. I wear it because I like it. Before I would be like, yo, uh, I like the hat, but I just won't get it because people think I look weird. You know, and it started off with me wearing the V-Rums, the five finger, the finger toe shoes. I used to wear those outside and, I, and people would be like, yo, I actually like those shoes, man. Where do you get it from? Where do you get it from? And I was just being myself. I didn't care if other people were wearing every freaking Jordan that comes out, every Nike that comes out. I was wearing freaking shoes that look like my feet and I liked it. 
right? So that's what I'm trying to say, like be yourself and don't care about what other people think. Don't care about trying to please others because at the end of the day, even if you try to be fake and, or act fake or not act as yourself to try and please others, people are still not going to like you. So if people are going to like you or not like you, at least be yourself and F everybody else, man. They can all suck your... Okay, so let me stop rambling there. You guys comment down below your experiences. If you do feel like you were kind of like this, comment down below and tell me your story. Tell me how you feel. And I hope you guys did like this video. I plan to bring more of videos like this. I do plan on continuing with my fitness videos. Trust me, guys. I love fitness. It's just my life is jumbled up right now, okay? So let me just get back on track. Like, having a kid ain't just like, oh, he popped out the vagina. Now let's go back to making YouTube videos. No, it's not that simple. So anyway, yeah, uh, I'll try to bring more videos like this soon enough. And I'll talk to y'all next time. Done. <sighs> Yo, bro. I have a question, man.